My name is Peter Ledbrook and in this screencast I'll show you some of the highlights of the new Grails 2 user experience. I'll start from a terminal and as you can see I have Grails 2 all set up. Let's create a new Grails project. The first significant change is that typing Grails without an argument will now start Grails' new interactive console. Existing Grails users should also notice how much less terminal output there is now. We can now enter Grails commands, but first, see how you can execute external commands using an exclamation mark. This will work for any executables on the path. Now I'm going to create a very simple domain model. For that, I'll use the create domain class command with autocompletion. The console also maintains a history buffer that you can cycle through with the up and down arrow keys. Another great addition to the interactive console is the multipurpose open command, which supports file path autocompletion and can be used to open any file using the corresponding application defined by the operating system. For example, on my computer, properties files are opened in MacVim. Now to populate the domain model. It's very straightforward with a book having a title and belonging to an author, and the author having a name and multiple books. Once they're saved, I can create standard scaffolding for both of them from the interactive console. Create Scaffold Controller is a new command that simply creates a controller that dynamically scaffolds a given domain class. In the interactive console, it even auto-completes on the domain class argument. The generate commands also have auto-completion on their argument. And in addition to creating the static scaffolding, generate all will create some unit test cases, which allows me to show you the new test reports. When I run the unit tests, notice how output is only displayed for failed tests and those failures appear in red to help them stand out. Once they're finished, the open command makes it trivially easy to open the HTML reports with the test report argument. Open also has an alias for the dependency reports, which used to be awkward to find in previous versions of Grails. Run app can also be used from within the interactive console. Once the server is started, I can browse to the usual URL. As you can see, the scaffolding has a completely new look. It's based on HTML5, hence why you get a notification for required fields that are empty. There's no JavaScript involved here. I'll now demonstrate one of the biggest improvements in Grails 2. While the application is running, I go back to my domain classes and add a toString method to author, and a new ISBN field to book. I'll 
After saving both, I can go back to my browser and refresh the page. The date is gone, but the new ISBN field is now displayed in the scaffolding. We have domain class automatic reloading. Author names are also displayed now instead of the class name plus integer ID. In other words, that to string method is taking effect. You may be wondering why the data has disappeared. It's because the DB create setting takes effect on domain class reloading. Since the value is currently create drop, all tables were dropped and recreated, hence the data was lost. One final thing before I finish. The basic run app is very quick to start up on a subsequent runs. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy our new release as much as I do.